it's getting quite common nowadays for people to actually make their own cleaning products or sanitizers using common household goods. But there are some chemicals that you should never combine together. And we're going to get into that right now in this video. Hi, and welcome to Problem Solver. Today we're going to talk about various household goods and some of the dangerous chemicals you can produce by accident by combining some of them. What we're going to do first is talk about the actual chemicals produced, what they're commonly used for, as well as what the effects are upon exposure. But stay to the end of the video so you can see what the remedies are, what uh, you can do to alleviate the situation if you do get exposed to such dangerous chemicals. The first two chemicals I like to talk about that you can find in almost any home are bleach and vinegar. When you mix the two, you get chlorine gas. Now, industrially, it's used as a solvent and also in manufacturing, but because of its deadly nature, it's been used as a chemical weapon as early as World War I and as recently as 2018 in Syria. Now, when you get exposed to chlorine gas, it can actually cause chemical burns in your lungs and your eyes. Even if you recover, there could be permanent scarring and damage to your lungs, so you need to get that checked out. But we'll get more into that later in the video as to what to do for remedies. Now, how much damage chlorine gas does to your lungs, your eyes, or your body really depends on a few factors, such as uh, the space that you're working in when you get exposed, the length of the exposure, the amount that you mixed to produce that gas. Um, those variables will determine how severe your burns are. Now the next two chemicals I'd like to talk about that you should never mix together are ammonia and bleach. When you mix those two together, you create chloramine gas. And it's not as deadly or dangerous as chlorine gas, but it still produces pretty severe irritation, especially in large quantities or a huge exposure. What will happen is when you get exposed to chloramine gas, you get irritation in the eyes, the nose, the throat, and the lungs. Um, moderate and low exposure can cause some irritation, but high exposure can also be lethal, just like chlorine gas. Now, the next two chemicals that should never be mixed together are alcohol and bleach. When you combine the two, you actually get chloroform. Now, chloroform is used as a reagent or solvent in the production of things like pesticides. Um, as early as the mid-1800s, it was used in medical procedures to uh, provide anesthesia. Now, I think most people know the chloroform from either movies or from watching crime scene shows and such uh, because people use it for nefarious reasons to knock people out and take advantage of them, rob them, what have you. Um, well, that's actually pretty true in that low doses you can get dizziness, nausea, vomiting, but in high doses you can actually become unconscious, you can get convulsions, you can even die from it. The last two household chemicals you should never mix together are hydrogen peroxide and vinegar. When you combine the two, you get a highly corrosive chemical called parasitic acid. Now, industrially, it's used for food processing and disinfectants. However, when it's unintended and when it's unmeasured, it becomes an unstable, highly corrosive chemical that can result in chemical burns to your skin, causing redness, rashes, blisters. Uh, if you inhale it, it can actually cause uh, irritation to the eyes, mucous membranes, it can result in labor breathing, uh, a lot of coughing too. So what happens if you do get exposed to one of these chemicals we talked about in this video? Well, the first thing you need to do is remove yourself from the environment as to where the chemical is. Get out of the room or get out of the house, get well ventilated, get fresh air. The next thing you need to do is, if the symptoms are severe, call 911 or take yourself to the hospital to get seen by a medical professional. If it's less severe, you can still call poison control, find out what are the dangers and possible side effects and long-term effects you uh, could possibly incur from the exposure. Um, you should still see a medical professional because there can still be internal damages inside your body that you are not aware of. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you found this information helpful and raise your awareness to the unknown dangers of combining everyday chemicals. If you have your own story or other chemicals or dangers in the household that you'd like to share, please comment below. Thank you.